Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generate Press and Generate Blocks. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a top bar with a simple message and a button like this using the block element module. You can create this layout with a custom HTML widget in the top bar widget area and some CSS but I find it much easier to use the block element module with generates blocks. Let's get started. We will go to appearance element and add a new block element. The element type will be hook and the hook name will be before header. This is the same place where the top bar is hooked into in generates press. Let's add our first container block. I'll set the container width to a thousand pixels. Open up the spacing panel and we will go with 10 pixels of top and bottom padding, 20 on the left and right. We will set our colors next. Inside the container, we will add a grid wrapper. Let's start with 50-50. Set the vertical alignment to center, same as the horizontal alignment. Now let's use the block navigation and select the first container underneath the grid wrapper. And then we will change the container width to 75%. Then we will add a headline block inside the first container. We will use a div here so we don't have to set the bottom margin of the paragraph to zero. Adding our headline text and select an icon. Add some more padding to the right of the icon. And let's increase the font weight and size a bit. Next, let's use the block navigation again and select the second container under the grid wrapper. We will set it to 25%. And inside the container, we will add a buttons block. Change our button text. And font way, we will use bold. Open up the spacing panel and we will change the top and bottom padding to four, left and right to 15. Then we will add some border to the button. Let's tweak the colors next. And then the hover color Now we should be done with the desktop view. Let's take a look at tablet. I don't think there are any changes needed here. And let's take a look at mobile. The mobile view could do with some improvements. So let's select the headline block first and we will center it on mobile. Now let's select the buttons block and do the same thing. 
Now to add some space between the headline and the button, we will select the grid wrapper and add some vertical gap. The vertical gap value here is added to each of the container inside the grid. So it's added here and it's added here. The issue with that is we will have uneven padding. So let's select the second container and turn on the option to remove vertical gap. Let's make sure we remove the empty paragraph here. So there's no space below the top bar. Give our element a name and a display rule. Update and take a look. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.